I've had this old chainsaw lying around for years. Um, it's got a blown engine. Uh, it's probably from the 1980s, I suppose, McCulloch. Um, and I've got this DC motor out of an old 12 volt boat winch. The cable on the winch rusted away and uh, it's pretty useless now, but the motor still runs fine, so I'm going to try and marry the two together to see if I can make a battery powered chainsaw. This bar clamp is actually part of the motor, so it's going to be quite a challenge to attach that to the electric motor. So I think what I'll do is just make another plate there, and um, and then just bolt it to this to this motor. Now I just have to get that motor in the right place, somewhere around there. If you're looking for a good um, marker for writing on bits of metal, go and steal one of your kids colouring in pencils. They're perfect. They won't even notice one or two gone. Ideal for this sort of thing. I just have to drill three holes. So that shows me where the holes are. Reverse thread off. Okay. Lefty tighty, righty loosey. Oh, that's too tight, I think. I've got to hold this shaft, so I'm going to pile a rope in there. That's going to stop the crankshaft from turning. I'll get it on the bottom of the stroke. It's about there. We'll feed this piece of string in, and that should hold the piston and stop it going up and down. I'll try and shock it off. So that's a handy little hint if you don't have the special tool to go on the flywheel you can just jam a bit of rope down through the spark plug hole and that'll hold everything in place. Clutch. So that's just a centrifugal clutch. When the motor gets up to the right revs, this expands and jams on that outer part of the clutch and that spins the chain. So that's way too big. I'm going to have to put a reducer in there of some sort. A wee bit big, but I think it'll probably do. It's a little bit tight on there, but um, maybe if I smack that on, it, it's, cause it's got a split on it, it might just expand. I don't really want to hit that too hard because that shaft's just going to pop out of the end, so um, I think I will just have to drill that out slightly. So just have to weld a, a plate on there to suit the bar and um, drill a hole through it and put a bolt through.
that's for the oil tank. Now I've just got to cut a little groove down there so the oil spreads to the chain. Perfect. So I'll put it together now and give it a wee test run. Quite important to get this aligned properly because um, otherwise just losing so much power and frictional losses and it'll wear everything out quickly so that wants to be pretty good. that chain up a wee bit. Before I go any further I'm going to um, test it out and just make sure this motor has enough torque and speed to actually cut through a piece of wood so uh, I've got two 12 volt batteries rigged up in series and uh, that'll give me 24 volts That's not too bad, I think it's probably worth um, carrying on with. Uh, it's definitely quicker than doing it by hand anyway. Shut myself. Draw that chain all around. Oh, yep, it's coming out there. Yep, she works.
Oh well, it's starting to slow down a bit now. Chain's getting a bit loose too. Um, it's done all right though. It must have done probably seven or eight minutes there. See, I've cut up all these branches and um, there's a bit of firewood there. Um, I had a go at cutting this big piece, but it did struggle with that. So I think I'll have to leave leave the trunk for the big chainsaw, but um, it's ideal for this little stuff. I think it's worth refining a little bit. Tidying up this wiring, putting a bit of switch on there, so it's like a trigger switch instead of this on off. Put a little guard up there, hand guard. It does feel a bit sketchy sort of having the blade right there. All I used was um, my old quadcopter batteries, the 12 volt each. All up it cost me nothing, it was free to build because I had all the parts already, but um, I think if you wanted to make something like this you'd be You'd pick up an old chainsaw like this for probably five or ten bucks uh, at a yard sale. The batteries are probably fifteen, twenty dollars each, and the electric motor, like I said, was out of an old uh, boat winch, and uh, the cable had rusted away, but the motor was fine. So um, I think they go for about thirty or forty dollars. So if you had to buy all the parts for this, I'd say be around about maybe just over a hundred dollars and like half a day's work maybe maybe a day's work depending on how much you have to do I think the old chainsaws with the with the cords um, the AC saws uh, would be better because you just have to take the existing um, AC motor out and put the DC in so I think that would be an easier conversion but um, it's definitely worth doing if you've got a bit of time on your hands pretty happy with that really catch you later